Today I've got something pretty awesome to share with you guys. These are audio over ethernet adapters. So first I'm going to show you what they are and what they can do and what they can't do. So let's start with this one here at the back. This one is an ethernet on this side and a 3.5 mil standard uh, what is commonly a, a headphone jack on this side. This is stereo. Now this one, as you might have already seen, is, is the same on this end, Ethernet. And left and right RCA, which is your red and white on the other. There's lots of different connectors available. There are XLR ones available, but these are the two I just wanted to show you today. So, what can you do with them? Well, you can build custom cables. And the great thing about that is, if you need to run cable over a huge distance, these can do it on CAT 5e at around about 250 feet, on CAT 6 at around about um, 400 feet, and on CAT 7 you can run these at around about 660 feet. So well, why would you want to do that? Well, I have an installation coming up where I need to in, uh, send sound from a soundboard to a TV room and it is around about 150 feet. So I'm going to be using this monstrous Cat5 cable to be able to do that. Now that includes drops down walls, runs around corners, up and down stairs, uh, around the back of objects and so on. So you really have to think about how you're going to cable things. So why can't you use a standard audio cable for that? Well, firstly, standard audio cables are very expensive and they're not very well shielded and if they are you pay a lot more money for that they're not as resilient as what a cat 5 cable cat 6 cat 7 cable would be so these aim to bring down the price because you can buy cat 5 cat 6 cat 7 very cheap and you can make a custom length and once you have made a custom length it is easy to take it apart put different connectors on the end and customize and rerun different cables. You can also fix Cat5 cables a lot easier than what you can on a regular audio cable. Now, the resilience of a Cat5 is great, or Cat6 or Cat7. I'm just gonna call them ethernet cables from here on in. So the resilience is great. They're generally made a lot tougher because this is what they're designed for. They're designed to run. They're designed to be put places they're designed to be bent and twisted and stepped on and pulled. And generally audio cables are not. They're typically just designed to be left there, really, in a rack or just dangling down the back of your stereo or sound setup. Not to be run over hundreds and hundreds of feet. So this is a really good way of being able to do that. So as you just saw, it's really, really simple. All you do is you take the end of a Cat5, Cat6, Cat7 Ethernet cable and clip it in. Simple as that. Now that is our 3.5mm stereo jack connected. Now we take the other end and connect it into this. And now we have just made ourselves a custom audio cable. Now again, it is a lot easier to build custom ethernet cables and a lot cheaper as well. And they are far more resilient. They are shielded as well. Typically audio cables, unless you pay a lot of money for them, are not shielded against electromagnetic interference and RF that you get from all your electronic devices. Basically everything emits RF. So if you've got an audio setup and you have tons of buzz and horrible electronic distortion sounds coming through your system, that's probably why. So I would highly recommend investing in these adapters. And again, if you need to reconfigure things, all you've got to do, take one off and swap it out. Simple as that. Now these run at around about $15 the pair. So I got these for $15. Um, in a kit 
So again, this is the uh, the RCA one with the with the red and white connector, and this is the 3.5 mil one. You can make any kind of converter connection that you want to. You can use XLR, you can use quarter inch, you can use TS, you can use TRS, you can use RCA, you can use whatever you like. And they're interchangeable simply by clipping and unclipping your ethernet cable. All right, guys, that's about it for this video. But don't forget, you can check out my channel for tons and tons more. We've got all sorts of audio and other kinds of reviews uh, on the channel. Please share, like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.